What's up guys, Sila here with One Legion TV and I am back with another mount guide, this time showing you how to get the Armani Battle Bear. Now the Armani Battle Bear is a recolor of the Armani War Bear, which is more of a red color. And the Armani War Bear was removed, it used to be a part of the Zulaman raid. And the Armani Battle Bear was introduced when they relaunched Zulaman as a 5 man dungeon. So we're going to get this mount from Zulaman. And you're going to find Zulaman in Ghostlands, which you'll find north of Eastern Kingdoms, as you can see on the map right there. And we're going to head inside. Do make sure you're on Heroic Difficulty. Uh, just right click on your uh, character portrait, go down to Dungeon Difficulty and select Dungeon uh, Heroic. And then we're going to head inside. So basically to get this mount, what made it difficult back in the day was you had to do the dungeon in a certain time. And if you didn't, you failed the tribute run and you would not get the mount. So, now that we're coming back as level 100, this should be absolutely no problem for even an undergeared level 100 player. You should not struggle with this at all. I mean, I, I even think a healer could do this, so it should not be an issue at a level 100 plus. We're going to speak to um, Zul'jin, or Vol'jin even, I don't know where Zul'jin came from, and you're going to have to click on this gong and it will open the gate. And once the gate opens, there'll be a bit of like RP. And then the timed run will begin. You'll notice a little clock will appear in the top middle of the screen. And that's basically the countdown for us to do the tribute run. So basically we have to get through the first four bosses of the tribute run um, in the time period. Otherwise we'll fail and we won't get the mount. Now the mount is on like a 99.9% .9 drop chance. So you will be pretty damn unlucky if you don't get it. And if you don't get it for multiple runs, then make sure you are doing this correctly. Because I have seen people that, you know, don't do time drone, you know, they, they fail the time drone or they miss a boss or something along those lines, and that's why they failed. So we're gonna head, we're gonna run left, first of all. I prefer this route, I feel like it's the, the best route to take, nice and easy. We're gonna run straight up, and as we're level 100, we're literally just gonna pull all of this trash together so we can get it down a bit quicker, because really, it's not that big of an issue, as I said, we're level 100, this is a level 85 heroic dungeon, so nothing in here should really be a challenge at all. As you can see, we kill them all in one spell, so yeah, no one should really have an issue. You can mount up in this place as well, so keep that in mind, and make use of mounting up when you're not in combat. And that is the first boss dead. So we're going to ignore the loot that that boss gives, because it doesn't give the mount or anything we really care about, unless you want transmog. So we're going to move right on. Next up is the bear boss, and you do need to kill these kind of like gauntlet waves that he throws at you, otherwise he won't proceed. I thought you could kind of make him skip ahead, but that's not the case. So do make sure you kill the waves and mobs that he throws at you first of all, and then he'll kind of move up a little bit, he'll throw more mobs at you, kill them, and then eventually he'll be on his little kind of um, platform and you'll be able to finally fight him. So here we go, is the final pack, and we can fight him. So once again, we're going to kill him, we'll get an extra bit of time once more, and once again, we don't really care about his loot. He doesn't give the mount, he does give some transmog stuff, so if you are interested in that, then do give him a quick loot. And there will be bonus NPCs in cages that will give you some extra loot, so if you, you really want the transmog, then make sure you do speak to those guys as well. But once again, we're, we're skipping through everything. It literally doesn't matter what we pull or what we don't pull, just try and get to the, the bosses as quickly as possible, just to save yourself some time, really. Um, you know, you shouldn't struggle with the timed run, but the quicker you can get this done, the, you know, the quicker you get them out. So we are at the third boss now, and this is the Dragonhawk, and we're just going to burn him down once more. I'm not going to go through tactics on any of these bosses, because literally there should be no reason to. Um, if you're a level 100, even sub 100, you shouldn't really need to worry about it too much. But level 100 is what we're basing this video on, and you shouldn't have any issue with anything in here. Next up is the final boss, the one that's going to give us the mount. So we're going to head straight across now, and we're going to head around this kind of river area, dodging the, the kitty cats, and head straight down. So the door there will be locked to the left, so we're going to have to kind of go all the way around, right around this uh, little river, uh, this lake, whatever you want to call it. And you will pull some um, tigers along the way, but you can literally just run to the fourth boss and they will reset. So we're going to completely skip them. Just hope that they don't kind of random dismount you, which I don't think they can, um, just because they're a much lower level. 
and we're at the fourth boss, so we're gonna kill this guy. And um, if your DPS is a little low, he might split, and if he does split, just kill him, and then he'll turn back, and then um, you'll be able to finish him off, but he shouldn't take that long to kill. And with the fourth boss dead, we're gonna head over to the troll in the cage, we're gonna speak to her, and she'll run around for a minute or so, and um, she'll kind of open all of these pots, but the part that we care about is the one right at the back here. This will be the one that will have the mount in it. So all the, the prisoners beforehand could not drop the mount. It's only this fourth prisoner that we, we rescue that can. Um, so you're going to have to wait for her to, to do her kind of rounds. And then once she's here, you have like a 99.9% .9 chance of getting the mount. So if you do fail, you can do it on and all, or you can come back tomorrow and give it another go. And there's absolutely no reason... Unless you're extremely lucky that it should take you more than two runs. If it takes more than two runs, then you're probably doing something wrong. Either that or you, you're just unlucky. That's about all I can say. So eventually she will get here. She'll break open the pot. And you'll be able to open it. And the mount will be there for one person and only one person. You cannot sell this mount. It is BOP. But there you go. Congratulations on your new mount. Thanks for watching, guys. Look out for more videos coming soon. See ya.